like, maybe you took one of my online video course or saw me at social media or attended one of my keynote speeches or you just dropped by by chance right now. I thought you may want to learn more about me. So I wanted to have a coffee talk and tell you about myself. Where was I born? Where do I live? Which schools did I attend? My professional background? My educational background? How do I earn my living? How did I end up here in my life? All sorts of things. Let me start with where all it began. I was born in Turkey. I studied management in Middle East Technical University. And then I moved to United States for my MBA degree in University of Illinois, Chicago. After getting my MBA degree in Chicago, then I moved to Dubai. I lived there and worked there for a while for my family business. And then I came back to Istanbul, my hometown. Until my late 20s, I worked for multinational companies like DHL. British American Tobacco, Pepsi. I worked in marketing departments. After 10 years in working for multinational corporate companies, I decided to merge my knowledge in marketing and business with my passion, fashion. I decided to go my way. I had taken many courses from abroad, from New York, Fashion Institute of Technology, Image Consulting and Fashion Styling, from Central St. Martins. I took a lot of short courses to empower myself in this new area of fashion business. And I started the first blog of Turkey, Zafis.com, where it ended up to be a team of 12 editors who were fashion enthusiasts, which I called a gang. It was Zalpis gang and I loved them so much and we did great work, great fashion content. It was at the beginning of 2007. At that time, the first iPhone was launched. I mean, it was so back then. I was and I'm still so proud of being one of the pioneers of Turkish fashion's online platform. Besides managing team of Zalpis, my first business job was fashion marketing a consulting project for Istanbul Moda Academy. It was being launched by European Union with the consultation of London College of Fashion, I created a long and short term marketing strategy of the school. After the launch of the school, I worked as the marketing manager. And guess who wanted to dive into education by volunteering to be one of the first tutors of the school? Yes, I always love to transfer my knowledge, learn about something deeply and then telling people about the subject. So I think I was cut for that. So I wanted to, to take the challenge and be a tutor. And since then, which has been 17 years by now, I have been tutoring fashion courses, fashion marketing, fashion editing, fashion history, fashion industry, fashion consumer, cool hunting, trend forecasting, you know, many, many subjects. Besides Istanbul Moda Academy, in academic perspective, I also tutored at a private college and university. And you may also know that I have online courses on Udemy and Teachable too. I'll come to that coming soon. This experience taught me content creation, leadership, team management, fashion media, fashion photo shoots and styling, public speaking, and a vast network in fashion industry, which led me to a job offer from Turkey's oldest and most established a women's fashion magazine, El Ele. I was the youngest to get the title of editor-in-chief in fashion magazine industry in Turkey. It was such an honor. It was amazing times. I, I think I was working 14 hours a day at least because I was lecturing courses, I was doing full-time editor-in-chief, managing a team of creatives and editors, the chaos of preparing the magazine and sending it to the press, fashion shoots, cover shoots with celebrities, fashion shows. And also I was managing uh, Zafis Gang. We were digitally creating content for Zafis as well. It was hectic, but fantastic time. Then I decided to dedicate my time more on consulting projects. One of my consulting business was to Trendyol, the e-commerce conglomerate of Turkey, an affiliate of Alibaba, on fashion marketing strategy, content creation. We made a fashion magazine together. It was such a tremendous experience to learn e-commerce, sales, ever-evolving digital landscape, and new entries of social media platforms, a 
full fashion agenda. It was amazing, very busy, but amazing. Then another job came from Hipsy Brother, where I was responsible for fashion communications of uh, Hipsy Brother too, which is the other one of the biggest e-commerce platforms of Turkey. Besides consulting projects to fashion, beauty, retail, and e-commerce firms, I also did consulting to agencies like McCann as a subject matter expert on fashion and beauty retail industries for them to conquer valued clients in fashion retail and beauty. I also did and still do keynote speeches. My keynote speeches are on global trends and consumption and generations, Gen Z especially, on marketing, innovation, technology, retail, brand strategies, shopping habits, all types of effects of today's dynamics on futures, shopping habits, consumer behaviors, trends, how we're going to live, how we're going to shop, how we're going to uh, love, how we're going to engage with brands. Yeah, it's very wide content. My clients include big multinational companies like like Unilever, L'Oreal, Henkel, and Turkish companies Tuxan, Archidik, Penti, Beymen, Boyna, Cotton, Eviap, Garanti Leasing, Yopu Credi, and so on. They're all from fashion to retail, e-commerce to telecommunications, banking, finance to FMCG, home appliances. It's just a vast variety of clients who are interested in global trends, the future and the consumer and the consumer insight. This side of my business clients are companies but I also serve to individuals as well through my Udemy teachable online video courses on fashion styling what I do is to empower women to make them feel more self-confident to look their best and dress to impress by teaching them how to style outfits according to their personal style body time dressing in the right colors with the right color palette or learning the tricks of style styling like using accessories, shoes, bags, layering, all sorts of style tips and on smart shopping, how to do sales shopping, investment shopping, wardrobe shopping, internet shopping. My goal is to support them on their progress to a more self-confident image. I also do this one-to-one -one by doing online personal styling on Fiverr and Upwork. I was active on YouTube as well. My first video was 2011. I had shot it in Prada and Mi Mew's fashion show to show Zafist, uh, Zafistas, whom I call, the inner of a fashion show. You know, it was 2011. Wow. Since then, my YouTube channel has been watched by 6 million and a half views. I haven't been active for a while, but I try to catch up. I share my styling tips with my online course students and one-to-one -one clients via e-newsletters. If you'd like to receive my style tips to your inbox, you can add your email address through here. I'll also put the link in the description box so you can subscribe and receive my styling tips. You know me, I would talk and talk and talk, but it's already been a long video and my coffee got cold. So I think it's time to wrap it up. I'm hoping to meet you on the way in my online course or at one of my keynote speeches, or maybe we'll work together or we'll just bump into each other please say hi and until then bye